Hello everyone, this is Keys Ritual, and I decided to do another vlog of my week because I haven't posted in six days and I need to get back into that because I've just been really lazy and whatever. Um, so last night was Victoria's Secret viewing party and we had, well, we had a viewing party here for the Victoria's Secret fashion show, that's what I meant to say. And there was plenty of people here just to like watch it and such and the only reason I really wanted to watch it was because, like, I don't really keep track of, like, Victoria's Secret or any of that. I do have some Victoria's Secret bags, like, in my room. I don't. I have bought stuff there for previous projects. But, um, I was hoping to see Ariana Grande get hit with the freaking wings, and they cut it out. They just sort of, you sort of see her, like, do a little dodge technique in the very back of view. Oh. But yeah, why is my do I have body paint on my doorknob? Um, <laughs> sorry, I got really distracted. And afterwards, we decided to play Cards Against Humanity, which I have the first collection box thingy. Which is like, if anyone's ever played this, they know how fun it is. Um, I just bought two new expansions that come in the mail tomorrow, so I'm ready for that. Uh, also, I bought this. 15 liner set, which is mostly lip and eyeliners. It's just a mix, but you pretty much use them as ever you want. But they're mostly like nude colors. They're Italia. I was gonna do a review on these, but where is it? Just, okay. I was gonna do a review on these because they're really good and their makeup, but as far as I know, this company doesn't exist anymore. We tried to do some research and couldn't find an actual website or company page, but I also still didn't look that hard. I just saw people saying that this company doesn't exist anymore. I bought these on Amazon for like a few dollars, but they're really good. Like, as you can see, it goes on pretty well. I just grabbed a random one. This one is uh, an ultra fine eyeliner, Italia Deluxe, and Metallic Green. Um, but yeah, and another thing I got recently was this skirt from Vintage Goth. It was the Ketra skirt. I believe that's the right name. My phone, I never forget, whatever. Um, but, okay, so, where is it? Where are you? Okay, so I bought this corset, like I did a review in my previous video, VintageGoth.com review of my corsets. And I really do like this corset, and I like the pattern, and the way the fabric feels. And I got this skirt that had the exact same pattern. Or so I thought. It has completely different fabric. It is... Let me show you. It is a lot brighter. And it's also made of the same material as my tablecloth from childhood. Which is very not comfortable. Like... I assume to be the same material since it's the same pattern. Also, it looks like the pattern is very badly imprinted on it because it tends to rub off in places quite easily. So I'm a bit, I just don't really like the fact that I bought it now because it's like, it doesn't match anything I own now. Like literally this matches a few things but because of the change in color, as you can see, of how big of a change it is, um, it doesn't match anything I own. So I really have no way of, I've been trying to find, like, throwing everything around, trying to figure things out. My floor is literally covered in clothes right now. Like, my feet are, like, buried in clothes. That's why I'm saying it's an awkward position. Also because of lighting. It just, the sun just doesn't sit up right this end these days. So I'm a little disappointed. I would return it if, like, when I tried to replace my corset, it didn't cost me, like, $45 just to get a replacement. And I only spent $30 on this skirt because of their Black Friday 50% deal. Well, like, 30 and well, probably, like, 40-something because of shipping. But it just it's not really worth getting a replacement because I just been spending more money to get, like, $5 back in the end, pretty much. But yeah, and also, I've gotten a lot of questions on different things about who my boyfriend is, because I didn't really specify. 
Um, if you would like to know who he is, just go to my body painter, uh, vi body painting video of the Punisher, which is where I am painting him. So now you all know who I'm dating. Also, recently, I've been wanting to watch the entire Hannibal collection of movies, the five movies, because I actually haven't seen the show yet, nor have I actually watched all the movies. Um, I've owned every DVD for a few years, and I still have yet to watch them all. I have a lot of DVDs that I haven't watched that I own. But like, each of the first three, I think, yeah, first three, then I have Red Dragon and Hannibal Rising. Um, widescreen, yay! Because full screen sucks now. Because I knew back in the day when everyone was freaking like, oh, I'd rather have full screen until it fills the screen. And now we don't really sell, they don't really sell full screen TVs anymore. I knew back then that uh, widescreen was going to be a thing because you could see more, even though it was smaller at the time. Now it fills the screen and full screen doesn't. So in your face, people. <laughs> But I will see you all next time. Bye. So I've had a few people show interest in being body painted as of late. So hopefully we'll have a Tim Burton-esque video soon of a body paint. As well as probably another hero of sorts. But you will find all that information out. Also, stick chance change is still happening, possibly in my life. Well, yeah, I hope it does. Yeah. I don't even know where I was coming from that. But yeah, the big change I mentioned in the last video is most likely happening, and I will update you as soon as it happens. But I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook fan page, whatever. Just And I would love to keep in contact with everyone that like messages me through these things. So don't stop messaging. Bye.